Last but not least, we have our uniform series present worth factor. So in this one, we can, we can think about the name, but the key here is we want to find a P given an A. So if I know that I can make a $100 payment, how much could I buy a car for? If I know that my company can pay so much money per month for operation and maintenance of a widget maker, how much, what kind of widget maker would do that, would have that cost for that maintenance, okay? So it's find a P given an A. Again, our cash flow is, is like the last one. I lost my pen here, there it is. There's my A's. My P is one period before the first A. Doesn't have to be at year zero. I just invert my formula here. And here's my functional notation. Find a P given an A at an interest rate and the number of periods. Use it like this. P is equal to A times P given A I N. So let's do an example here. How much should be deposited in a fund now to provide for nine end of year payments of or withdrawals of $1,000? So we're asking now, now is time zero. We don't know. We know that between years one and nine, nine, we're going to provide for $1,000 and the interest rate is 8%. Now notice it doesn't say anything. When it doesn't to say anything, do you remember what we do? We assume annual. So when you get to the FE or you get to a quiz and it doesn't say, you assume the annual rate. So it's 8% per year because we know no better. So there's our interpretation. Here's our solution. Well, P is going to be a times find a P given an A at an interest rate for a number of years. So it's $1,000. Find a P given a uniform series at 8% for nine periods. Look up in our book. That factor, 6.247. Just don't watch me. Please look up in your book. You can pause the video if you have to. And we'll get $6,247. We can put $6,247 in an account that earns 8% per year and pull out $1,000 for nine years. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. The power of compounding. All right, that's it for this one. We are, we are finally done with all of, all of the different P's and A's, A's and F's.